hi guys and welcome back to our channel for the first video of 2023 and this is going to be a really exciting one because in two days we are leaving for badminton grassroots where piper and i will be competing in the b90 So this video is going to be a preparation vlog about what we're packing to badminton and getting all the lorry ready, getting Piper and I ready and in the right mindset to compete and also doing a bit of practice beforehand, last minute practice. So in preparation for badminton, Piper and I luckily managed to squeeze in two events despite the weather. The first one was Morton B100 that we did and that was a good few months ago now but the dressage was okay a little bit excited for Piper because it's his first event show jumping just one pole and then because country was just such deep going in the bad conditions that I decided to retire halfway around the course because it wasn't worth risking him and uh, doing any injuries before badminton and then Lark Hill next which was just three weeks ago we had a very excitable and hot dress I shouldn't we Piper for a 33 which is our highest for a while and then we had a crazy he was crazy in the show jumping won't you yes for just one pole which I couldn't quite believe we only got one to be honest because country he flew around and honestly he had so much energy that I think he could have just gone around that course again so he was feeling great despite doing two events I don't feel that prepared really going into badminton I would have liked to have done a few more and but with uh, badminton only being at the start of May and quite early on in the season it's just so difficult to get those runs in but I'm so lucky to have got two in anyway and now the course that I've set up today is a simulation of some of the trickier combinations on the badminton course so first of all over here we have a simulation of a rail ditch rail which is fairly i think it's one of the first combinations on the course and i mean i haven't walked the strides in the course yet but it looks like a one or a two stride so i've set it up to a one stride to be slightly more technical and they're quite open skinny rails going into the rail ditch rail as well Oh, also Emma's repping the badminton match here. Yes, I am. Look at that. And then we also have this jump, which I'm going to put pictures of it, but it's quite like a technical combination where you have to decide whether over this spread house, where you're going to go straight on, do a circle before a skinny, or take the um, house on quite an acute angle to actually jump it as a skinny corner, and then go a sharp right hand bend. To a skinny which i've simulated with the plank spread jump up there and then i've also put a gate up behind us because we have got two white corral gates which are the same as the one in the five star actually to practice so we've got a gate up there to going on that. the five star course yeah Get a little bit of five star turf exactly we have um, we're jumping about three of the f old five star jumps so that is actually really exciting <laughs> Piper, how do you feel about that Basically a five star horse. Yeah, basically. We, we won't go into details, but we are. So around the um, 29th jump, right at the end of the course, they've put in a combination with a log and then a sharp left hand bend to a skinny arrowhead. A lot skinnier than the one I've got there, but that's the best I can do. Um, so I'm going to practice that on quite a tight left handed bend as well. So let's get into it. Guys, she wants a leg up. <laughs> Or you can hold the other stroke if you hold it well. Oh yeah, that's, so that's more my level. Oh, right. <laughs> you did not hold. So he's feeling quite good so far in the warm up. Looks a bit excited. A little bit. He doesn't feel too excited and strong though. I don't know. Maybe that's good. Yeah, I jumped a little bit him the other day. Um, and yeah, so he's going to be a bit better today, hopefully. But the other day I jumped him for the first time in about two weeks and he 
was slightly excited after that. Never. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be more successful today. Hopefully. Right. So much for not being excited. Maybe don't do it again. <laughs> get a little excited. Slightly excited. <laughs> well, that wasn't very good. Control. Well done. Do you want me to put that up? He jumped it while it was my foot. Oh. <laughs> I was turning in mid air and <laughs> my foot caught it. Good, Good thing you can't do that on cross country. I think you might be a bit bomb proof guys. <laughs> not scared of water trays then. So, <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm happy with how it went today, but Piper certainly exercised himself. Piper's happy with how it went. Uh, <laughs> he looks like he's just been around uh, the ground. Well, badminton. Or, or badminton. <laughs> Actual badminton. Actual badminton, a five star. But I'm, I am happy he was controllable towards the fences and he got more controllable as the session went on. But after the fences, not quite so controllable, hey Piper. So I might have another jump on Wednesday, but we're definitely... Emma, we're no, at, well, not Wednesday. <laughs> You're competing on Wednesday. Yes, okay. Not Wednesday, I've got my days part of that. Monday, might have another jump. Tomorrow morning, we're going for a nice big gallop on the beach. So hopefully he can get rid of some of his energy there and just make sure I exercise him. Well, and twice a day for badminton. Oh, poor bite. <laughs> so tomorrow we're going to be packing up the lorry, which is just over there, and getting everything ready to go off to badminton, which is super exciting. And we will put this all in the vlog and see you guys tomorrow. Hi hey guys, so it's Sunday now. Hello, Pika. And we're going to be leaving on Tuesday. So today it is packing day and we are going to fill up the lorry with everything that we're going to need over the next few days at badminton what are you doing first book is better on camera than you are i know first i'm just going to make sure everything's clean so i can start putting it all in um but when we do it all we're gonna go through the lockers and show you what we put in each one yard's looking a bit messy right now and we also had a flood in the tack room. We did. Well, Emma purposely flooded the tack well, room. Well, the washing machine got blocked. So, and to unblock the washing machine, you have to flood the tack room. Who can go in here?
So I've rolled up all of my bandages and cleaned them all ready to put in. And then also the bandage pads as well. Well, that is a lovely, <laughs> lovely thing in there. Fast acting toilet deodorant. <laughs> Fast acting toilet that deodorant. That'd be you, So next I put my two fly bells. I've got a brown one for um, just practicing and schooling at the event beforehand and then a black one for the competition. Put them in this bag and I hang them up in the bridal locker. Like so. Maybe I should put them on that side. Okay, we're having a readjustment. I think it'll look more aesthetic on this side. Look at that. It's all about the aesthetics. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh. This is why packing takes so long. Oh, that actually looks funny. Emma, we've got to hang up bridles. We don't need bridles. We can go head collars. That looks nice. Emma, get it down there. One of them is higher than the other, Abby. So, I have my boots just going here. Go on, like show so. us your boots. <laughs> well, we currently I only have some dressage ones for schooling in at the event and two back cross country boots. I can't find the front cross country boots and my show jumping ones are wet and my overreach boots are covered in mud, so yeah, I'm going to have to wait a while before this all fills up, but it's really easy and convenient to just have my boots there in a box. That's just... fantastic packing. All of this has been actually packed by me. Mm. So Emma's taking all the credit. I normally here. just show it in really quickly. I think you'll see that Emma's a bit OCD about all her polishes and sprays. Um, so why don't you give us a quick rundown? Don't take ages. Quick. Okay, okay. Ice gel, ice liquid, raspberry smelling shampoo, stain remover, purple stain remover, argan oil vegan shampoo, purple shampoo, another thing of purple shampoo that is exactly the same. Abby, you forgot my banana hair mask. <laughs> Piper's banana hair mask. Stain remover powder, and then a sponge stretch paper and brush. She's got the goods. Banana food hair mask. Smell that. Mmm, <laughs> it smells like banana. <laughs> oh, now you're gonna ruin my packing. So now we're putting the stud kit all cleaned with different types of studs. Honestly, look at this. Look all at the this. studs on this top opening bit, or well, some of them. They're a bit rusty, Emma. Yeah, well, I couldn't clean off the rust, I could only clean off the dirt. And then some more studs look that I might be these. using. Look how shiny! Brand new. And then all of my stud stuff on that. It's a perfect stud box. No, tell you where I saw it. Aldi. That's the Aldi. I think we should be sponsored, Emma. I think we should as well. A bit of Aldi like sponsorship. That, that. Well, that goes in there. Can we have a uh, magnetic stud dish? Stud dish. I'm just going to stick it on there. And then. We have our bridal numbers. What number are you? Oh, go on. Three five seven, I do believe. But that might. Oh be yeah, because I said that I wanted it to be three five eight because three add five equals eight. <laughs> <laughs> nearly, nearly. Okay. Then we just need to put the spare head collar in, spare lead rope. Yeah, it's just an old one that we never use. Stays in there in case we ever need it. And then two chain lead ropes for Piper, so I can lead him outside the stable without getting dragged to the other side of the field. Where do these go, Abby? I don't know. You can put them in there. Look at this. Oh. Saving storage. Saving storage. Wait. Saving space. Put them in the bag. Now I'm putting in my jump bridle. So in about half an hour, Piper's physio is coming to come in. Give him a bit of a massage to make sure he's all okay before badminton. And then tomorrow morning I'll be having a dressage lesson. And when I go up there on Tuesday night, I'm also having a dressage lesson up there with Piper with my instructor um, before competing on the Wednesday and Thursday. My dressage I'm gonna put in tomorrow after my lesson, after I've cleaned it. And then I think that's why we're gonna leave the packing for today and see you tomorrow. Hi guys, so it's now Monday. We are leaving tomorrow for badminton and 
This morning, very early actually, um, I had a dressage lesson with my instructor and Piper was feeling really good actually. And I'm also an ambassador for my dressage instructor and she has actually just dropped off this morning some very exciting goodies. Um, two coats embroidered with her logos and also a rug and a cap which I'm modelling right now. And as I said yesterday, I'm very lucky that she's going to be joining me at badminton and helping me get ready um, for the dressage phase. So now I'm going to clean my tack, then put it in and prepare all of Piper's food for when we're at badminton, put it in the lorry and his brushes, massage pad and rugs. All right, so now we're putting the girths in the saddle locker, which is just here. I'll open that for you. Um, and I have the stud girth. Buck's dressage girth, which Abby is very kindly letting me use on Piper, and then Piper's normal dressage girth uh, for a spare. And then putting my stirrups that I compete in, because I'll be riding in my older ones when I'm um, there before the competition. So I found my dressage whip. The whips also go in the saddle locker, by the way. So oh, Emma, that, I think you might need to invest in a new whip. You normally nick it, so I'm saying half of that is down to you. Right. Anyway, and then saddles. Which this is that saddle? This is my jump. And well, this is my show jumping cross country saddle. Yeah, and also. This is Piper's head protector because once at Bicton when we were staying away at a competition he reared whilst he had his head over the stable door and he whacked his uh, head and had a big lump on it. So this is for protection. He has no self-preservation. No he doesn't. And now just for my dresser saddle to go in. That is all the tack. Done. In here, in the horse bit of the trailer, we have a bag of shavings. I presume there's going to be another one going in. I think they give us shavings. Two oh. bags, so we've already broken one. That is true. Okay, so they give me two bags. Then we have bikes for cycling around. And what is this? Is this a gazebo? I think it might yeah, be a gazebo. Yeah, that's my tent. Your tent? Oh, uh, well, I'm actually, I've got a tent inside the gazebo. But we've got a gazebo. And then we've also got carpet. That's to go in my tent. <laughs> Cream carpet to go in your tent. <laughs> Emma's staying in here. We am. Then we just have a singular hay net. We'll be putting more hay nets at some point, I think. Uh, and a foldable wheelbarrow, which always collapses on people and it sends people flying into poo. We'll try and get a video of that. Yeah. Yeah, it's hilarious when it does happen. So hopefully we'll get that on film. Um, and then we've just got utensils for mucking out. So, now we're doing feeds. First of all, I have Piper's competition mix. And um, we just have these tubs, which are great to fill with nuts, mixes, and chaff. And this one has his blue chip and his mash in. Then put the um, food buckets in in that bit and water buckets and hose on top okay. and then for all of his supplements box it actually looks quite nice in here for you there you go in here so that's the feed locker all done and finished so next put my grooming kit in and so inside we just have like scissors, creams, combs, toothpicks, etc. And then all his body brushes, tail brush and his sprays and whitening things or some of the whitening things on hoof oil. And it's also got a mirror. Oh look it's a camera. So to start off this locker I'm going to put the Piper's water bucket in and his treat bowl, some treats and also his dangly toys. And then I'll put his grooming kit in. So this one 
has chalk in it to make his legs white and chalk paintbrushes that I use and all of that. So this one's a box with pretty much all the odds and ends and little things in, in case we forget anything. So, and then this one is plating and tack cleaning bag. And this is our horse first aid kit. So next we have Piper's rugs. I think I'm going to put his stable rug in the horse bit in the rug rack there. And then we have in this locker we're going to have his dry rug, magnetic rug, next rug this. And then I'm going to put in my hat and boot bag. This has got both my fixed peak and skull hat in, all my gloves, and then the boots in the back bit there. And then I've got the massage pad here and that is just, I use that when I'm plaiting him to relax him and before dressage, just any other times throughout the day. Okay, so the final thing I'm going to do is going to put this new stable rug in the horse bit where the rug rack is. And then that will be it for this video and all the preparation for badminton and we'll be all ready to go for early tomorrow morning. So I hope you guys all enjoyed seeing a bit of behind the scenes about what we pack and how we get ready for a big event like badminton. And I'll see you guys soon in the badminton vlog. Okay, bye.